Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about stack data structure in C++. So a stack is like, just imagine a stack of plates. So you have a first in, last out type of data structure. And it's good for things like um, depth first search. So let's take a look at an example on how to implement it. So we have include IO stream, and then we're going to have a const int for the maximum size of our stack. We're just going to be conservative here and use 50. And we're going to have our class called stack. Inside we're going to have public and private. So we'll start off with our constructor. And when we construct it, we're going to initialize our top to be 0. Okay, so we're going to have a number that keeps track of our top variable. And then we want to put the same thing in private. So int m top. And also we want to have an array that holds all of our um, items in our stack. So we're going to have an int m stack and put in m max size. So that we're going to have an array that holds, that's pretty much going to be our stack that holds all our items. Okay, so now we have, uh, let's have a main function to test it out. So we have an empty stack here, and when you add items to a stack, usually we call that action a push. So let's make a push function, and we're going to be pushing in integers. So to push in a value, we would use the stack and then pass in the top value. So currently the top is zero. So it's going to put your item in the first entry of your array. And then we're going to set that equal to value. And after we add in the value, we want to increment our top so that we could tell our program that we're ready to put our next value in the next spot. So do m top plus plus. So that should give us the ability to add items. And let's go ahead and add in a print function too so we could see what's inside our stack. So we could have void print. And inside, we're going to say, we're going to check if it's empty. So if m top is zero. We're going to say SCDC out empty stack. And we want to return if it's empty. Otherwise, we want to start printing. So we could initialize our current counter. We're going to call it i to be m top minus one. And then while i is greater than or equal to zero. We're going to say scdc out our m stack i, and then a new line. And after each step, we're going to decrement by one. OK, so let's see i greater than or equal to here. So let's go ahead and push some items to our stack. So we're going to say stack, call this my stack. And I can say my stack dot push. And let's just put one here. And maybe another number two. And then we're going to print it. OK, so if I run this, we see that it prints two and then one. OK, so one is on the bottom, two is on the top. So the way I'm printing it is printing it from uh, as the viewer to look at it uh, visually if it's stacked up on top of each other. OK, so that's how you would push and print. Uh, you might do some other things, like there's an action called pop. So pop is if you want to remove the item. So Inside here, we're going to do a quick check. If m top is 0, we're going to return a garbage value. 
to show that there's an error. Otherwise, we're going to decrement our top and then return our stack with the top value. Okay, so that's okay. So we're gonna try popping out some items now. So we're gonna have here uh, my stack dot pop, and we're gonna pop out the top value here. So if I pop it, and then what I want to do is print after popping, then I could see what happens. So if I run my code, you can see that now it just prints out one, right? So that will that tells me that um, we only have we only have one now, right? So that's working as expected. So the first two was the prints from the previous, and then the last thing we want to see is we want to check if our stack is empty. So we can have a bool is empty. And I can say if m top is 0, return true. And then else, return false. OK, so this just as a simple check to see the status of our uh, stack. So I can say bool status. And then my stack dot is empty. And if I put a breakpoint here and run this, we should be able to see the status of our uh, stack, right? So it's false. It's not empty because we have items in it. OK, so that summarizes uh, the things you could do with a stack. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.